Today we're out hiking near South Lake Tahoe. We're doing a trail called the Castle Rock Loop Trail. It meets up with the Tahoe Rim Trail, I believe, which is a trail that goes all the way around Lake Tahoe. This trail is only about 2.7 miles, 600 feet of elevation gain, I think. It's a Saturday morning and it's beautiful out, nice and sunny, not a cloud in the sky. So it should be a great day for a hike. Wow. What are you taking a picture of? <laughs> These incredible mountains. I didn't expect this today. I know. It's clear enough, I guess. Yeah. We've only been hiking for less than 10 minutes. Yep. And we're already coming up. Distracted. Upon... <laughs> yes, distracted. <laughs> but for a good reason, I'd say. Oh, yeah. So beautiful. There's just mountain peaks everywhere. And is that the lake down there, too? Yes, it is. Wow. <laughs> Another detour. We made it up to Castle Rock. The view behind me is absolutely amazing. This has to be one of the best views you can get of Lake Tahoe. You can see practically the whole lake and all of the mountains behind it. It's absolutely beautiful.
It's Thanksgiving Day and holy moly is it busy in South Lake Tahoe. Our plan was to wake up, have kind of a normal morning, um, watch the Thanksgiving parade, make breakfast, Paul had to do some work, and then we wanted to go do this Eagle Lake Trail. Uh, it's only about a two mile trail so we thought it'd be a great day hike for Thanksgiving. We drove up there and there were so many cars and I don't know, we kind of had the idea that because it was Thanksgiving, most people would be at home, um, probably with their families, but I don't know, maybe a lot of people are here on vacation and out hiking for Thanksgiving. So there was no way we could do that hike today. There were cars parked all down the road and we tried a couple of other trailheads and it was pretty much the same thing. There were just so many people and we generally just like to do hikes where we don't see a lot of people. So maybe we'll go back there another day. So we ended up turning around and then we came to uh, a trail that's pretty close to our condo, only about five minutes away. And we're headed down to a beach um, that we've been to before uh, that's dog friendly. So right now we're just walking down to the beach. We're gonna spend some time by the lake, enjoy the sunshine, and then go home and make our Thanksgiving dinner. Holidays certainly look a little bit different since we've moved away from our hometown in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Paul and I always try to make the holidays extra cozy by cooking ourselves delicious meals, spending lots of quality time together, and doing what we can to make them feel extra special. We really lucked out with such beautiful weather on Thanksgiving, and we enjoyed spending a peaceful day outside, followed by an amazing dinner together. Try to capture you in light Reflecting mirrors in the night They tried to reach you through a telescope They'll never really know The glimmer from the cold Somewhere in sleeping towns I Shine away where it leads, none can say into infinity. Will we always so it's starting to get a little bit late in the afternoon? We've been relaxing at the beach for a while. Jackson's been running around like crazy man, catching the stick. And Doug, on the other hand, has just been enjoying getting pets from his parents. <laughs> So we're gonna head back to our condo. We're making a beef tenderloin and some potatoes and vegetables and cranberry margaritas for our Thanksgiving dinner. So looking forward to that, heading back home and having a nice relaxing night. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. It's the Saturday after Thanksgiving, and today we're doing a short hike, uh, about 2.3 miles, I think, to Frog Lake. I'm so happy because I didn't know if there'd be parking at this trailhead. It seemed like somewhere that could maybe get a little bit busy, but thankfully we drove out here. We're about 30 minutes south of South Lake Tahoe, tons of parking spots, and it's beautiful out here. Great weather, clear blue skies, really nice day for a hike. was not the trail. So now Paul's trudging through the snow and making boot prints for me to follow. <laughs>
We made it up to Frog Lake after a little bit of route finding in the snow, some post holing in the snow, but it's absolutely beautiful up here. The lake is more like a snow covered pond at this time of year, but it's still stunning. And we have these incredible mountain views right behind us. So we've been sitting up at this spot by the lake for probably the last hour or so. One of our very favorite things to do is just go on a little hike, find a little spot in, well, not a little spot, <laughs> a big beautiful spot in the mountains all to ourselves and sit in the sunshine and just relax and, you know, just get away from people and everything. Just relax in the mountains and enjoy some peace and quiet. So now we're gonna head back down only about 1.2 miles to go. And then I don't know what we'll do the rest of the day. Probably just head home. Oh, we're picking up some ski rentals tonight because we're going skiing at Heavenly tomorrow. Oh yeah. So I'm really excited for that because Heavenly has awesome views of Lake Tahoe. So super excited. Overall, this was the perfect winter hike. It was on the shorter side with the total distance being under three miles and rewarded us with incredible views. Thankfully, the hike wasn't busy either. It was a perfect winter day to get out and explore in the sunshine and snow. Stay tuned for our next video to come along with us as we ski Heavenly Ski Resort in South Lake Tahoe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. What is it, Jack? What is it? What is it, Jackson? Are you going to get it? Get it. <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is it? Get it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> <laughs>